started a series of studies where I asked children about their impressions of a robot, when they thought that a robot had life and, and possessed human characteristics. And I was very surprised to find that the majority of children in our study said that, that they thought that the robot could feel embarrassment, sadness, hurt, fear, and also could engage in certain kinds of behaviors that clearly the robot didn't have the capability for. So that encouraged me that perhaps there could be some other types of applications for a robot that have never been considered before. And with my role as a professor in the Faculty of Medicine, I thought naturally about patients and patient care and uh, realized that uh, from reading the research we know that 50% of children have severe stress and anxiety when it comes to needles. And as adults, they are unlikely to access healthcare system and services when they have health problems. And so those negative emotions in childhood may linger well into adulthood. So that's when I started to wonder if perhaps we could introduce a robot as a way of distracting children during some of those awkward, uncomfortable, um, painful kinds of procedures. So the robot is a different way that we have used other methods as well. Um, that just causes the distraction of the child. It's potentially pretty powerful distraction with a lot of different applications um, that can first of all engage the child. Most of the distractions that we've used before are usually things at the time to try to take their attention away. But what this was able to do is also to have kind of a preamble to kind of get the child into the room and as they get settled into their place mm -hmm. Um, to make them a little bit more at ease. Then obviously there's a the distraction that goes on during the time they're actually getting the injection, but then there's the aftermath as well, where they're again settling down, and that interaction again seems to help put them at more at ease and get back to a more settled state compared to if they didn't have that kind of distraction. Hey, give me a high five. Uh, right now, the robot is capable of, for example, performing different activities with humans. He's able to recognize his speech, uh, for example, words. Uh, he's even able to actually understand what people are saying. He's able to recognize faces. He's able to to search for things in the room. And if he's given a, a, spe a specific pattern that he's, he wants to recognize, he's able to do that. He's able to walk, uh, uh, move in different ways, grab things, uh, talk. Uh, so those are some of the things that he can do. As for the future, we're developing programs so that uh, the things that he can do, he can actually do while at the same time cooperating with humans and react according to what he's seeing.